That time was Jed Ryan loping strides like a giraffe. Jed Ryan just kind of gliding in there again. Nothing real quick, but nice control. Ten points in the game for the junior. Open, Maltzby again. That's been the vulnerable area against this zone. That 10-foot jump shot on the baseline left side, and they've hit it all night, has Chester. Oh, Ryan's free, and then he's fouled. There was no way they were going to let him take one down, and Hamler hammered him from behind. And that's the rule, and that's going to be the third foul on the inside. But here's the pass again. Great pass from Duck. He found Ryan wide open coming down the lane. Ryan's going to go up to try to put it away, and he'll be fouled quickly from behind. Foul marked up on James Hamler. That's his third foul, and at the line, Big Jed Ryan. I think we're counting anywhere from 12 to 14 fouls now along that baseline with the big people. You've got Watkins on the bench with four. Hamler as replacement has three. And I'm sure there's more. Devon Knox. Ryan rattles it out. Prep crashing the boards. Coleman keeps it alive momentarily. And he ducks out of there with it. Ball looked like it had eyes that time. Bounced into the hands of the black team. That's Eric Cathedral. Coleman! And Coleman. And one. Ball passed inside again to the big guy, and he does what he does best. Gets that position close to the basket and puts it away. Coleman now with 19 points. There's the pass inside from Ryan, high low. Coleman again getting great position. He seals so well down in there and then finishing off the play. You'll see it from another, another angle right here from Ryan's point of view. He looks for the shot, draws the man up. Coleman floating through and he gets the ball and puts it in. Hits the free throw and we are tied again at 45. 20th time we've been tied in this game. Coleman with a quiet 20 points now. What a factor he's been though here in the third quarter. Maltzby lets it fly and draws the foul. Great non-lookoff snap pass from Jamar Shaw. Foul's going to be called on the other side. Looks like it's going to be Kenny Duck picking up his third foul. That's a guy that Cathedral Prep could ill afford to lose at this point in the game. He does such a great job of distributing the ball and penetrating for this club. The barometer of their offense at the point guard spot. He was the point man a year ago in their state title run in quad A. One of those ugly free throws that time. It's, it's lofted up there a little bit short from Maltzby. He'll get one more chance. Maltzby now with 15 points. 208 remain in the third quarter. Maltzby gives Chester the lead at one. 16 points in the game now for Maltzby. Again, a quiet 16. It's Maltzby just kind of chipped in here and there. Trapping in half court this time is Chester. They're really coming after prep, and now they'll drop back into their man to man. They're showing so many different looks each time down the floor. They're never really in the same thing. Duck penetrates. Nice move by Kenny Duck. Explodes off the dribble. A little bit of a 1-4 set that time. Duck went 1-1 one -one and found an easy going to the basket for the first time all night. Eric Evans slices, dices, and draws the foul. Evans to shoot two the other way. Ryan's going to pick up the foul here. It'll be his second team fourth here. 142 to go in the third quarter. And you'll see the drive right here. And all of a sudden, man steps out for Chester, realized he got beat, tried to reach back, but it was too late. Duck had ducked his way through and in for two points. And the lead for Erie Cathedral Prep. Eric Evans at the line, a battle-tested veteran, a six-foot junior. Evans on the year, 89% foul shooter. And missed the front end. Again, you talk depth perception here at the arena. Evans has yet to score this evening. And he'll get one more chance here, second foul shot. They order Randy Maltzby back towards half court, looking at Eric Evans. He'd be starting for most teams I've seen all year. At Chester, he's off the bench. He misses both, and it stays at 47-46 Erie. 1-2-1-1, one, one, one. three-quarter court trap now by Chester. They're trying to really change the pace of this game, pick it up, and again, make it a full court game where they can get some steals and some conversions. Well, Kenny Duck really had some trouble there, dribbling through pylons, arms flashing at him defensively. What Chester does, they take one shot at the trap at half court. If they don't get it, then they drop into the straight man-to-man. -man. Ted Ryan whirls the dribble. Now Nice, he's been held scoreless. Nice loses it. Raymond Carroll, one man to beat. That's Duck. Carroll all the way. 19 for Raymond Carroll. Chester retakes the lead of one. Here comes Chester trying to make it that full court game and a smart timeout called by Duck. 58 seconds to go to the quarter. 
Choice there of losing the possession or calling timeout. And here you're going to see the drive. Carroll plays him like a sucker that time, gets the inside, uses the inside hand to stay away from the foul, and then takes it the length of the court and does the most important part, converts it. You want your guy to finalize down at that end. Let's check in with our Bill Richardson. Bill is standing on the other side. Well, we've been watching what's been going on here as we've been keeping an eye on the entire situation. You know, this game getting so close and they're battling so hard, this is what they're fighting for. The gold medal here at Hershey Park. This is what it looks like, folks, and they've still got about eight minutes and 58 ticks to go to find out who's gonna go home with this one, and it's much too close to tell right now. The gold medal, that's what it's all about here at Hershey. Not just the battle of two great teams here tonight, Jed, but the battle of two great programs as well. And boy, these two want the gold again. 16th lead change here tonight with 58 seconds to go. 14 ties in the basketball game, and Chester still owns a one point, very slim margin at this point, obviously, with 58 seconds to go in the third quarter. That's well, been tight, and both teams have been able to utilize their strengths. 55 seconds remain in the third quarter. 1-3-1 one, one half court trap. Yet another look for the Chester, but always the pressure attached. Looking at Keith Neese, now Duck. I'm sure Marcel Araby wanted to do things to slow down, and a nice stick in by Neese, his first points of the second half. He has nine. Erie prepped by one. Slow recovery that time from the 1-3-1 to the man, and they got hurt on it. Shot buried from the outside by Neese as he stepped in for that 15-footer. Jamar Shaw, give and go. Nicely done that time to James Hamler. Shaw, low. Shaw the penetration, Hamler the finish. Nice job getting into the paint that time by Chester. Final seconds. Anthony almost over and back in big trouble. Now to Jed Ryan. Chester. Ten seconds to go as Nice touched it there. Look for Duck to penetrate again. There's the 1-4 flat to the baseline. Here he comes. Five seconds. Duck pull up. Pop good! Kenny Duck at the buzzer. No, oh, that is about as well as you can do it. They cleared everything out. And he sticks the dribble penetration move. Here, Here it is. 1-4, he goes one-on-one, -on -one, pulls up, squares the shoulder, gets on balance. Nothing but net. 51-50, Preps got the lead going to the final quarter in their defense of the state championship. And the crowd beginning to really get excited about what they've seen so far. Chester's biggest lead has been four. For Prep, their biggest lead has been two. Gary just told you, 17 lead changes now, 14 ties. And we're not done yet. We have eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter as you look at the Chester fans getting excited. Let's check in with Bill. Bill, you can see the atmosphere building, the electricity thickening as we go to the fourth quarter. Absolutely, then we're going to see that continue, Jed, as this builds and builds here. The arena is about split half and half. The crowd is about the same for each of the two schools. And really, it's coming down to the point of who's going to be the one who's going to take it on. The battle on the floor is only secondary to the battle going on in the stands. They are not taking it either. They're going to go all the way and fight this down to the last second. And I think it's going to be a great eight minutes. Well, neutral crowd. And it's about neutral on the scoreboard. You don't get any closer than the first three quarters. In the dictionary next to the word classic, you might see pictures of these two teams playing a basketball game because this has been a classic so far. And this last eight minutes shapes up to be a classic finish. Duck give and go to Coleman. He had the seam and then they missed the rebound. Here comes Jamar Shaw. One on two. Shaw all the way and draws the foul on the way through. It's on Anthony. And you can see Shaw just find a new gear. It's a foot race. Shaw's out ahead. Anthony coming from behind. It just give him a little bump right there before Shaw actually gets the bucket in. They're going to say no shot. Ball on the baseline. You'll see a little better angle here as Anthony gives him the bump with his hand on the waist from behind. Ended up being a smart foul, actually, by Anthony. That would have been an easy layup on the other end by Shaw. Damian Hunter. Change now, of defense now. Straight man to man for Erie Cathedral Prep. Damian Hunter trying to exploit it, dumping down low for Hamler. But it was tipped out of bounds by Ryan Aviri. Chester likes this a lot better. The man-to-man -man really allows them to go a little bit more one-on-one -on -one from the outside and get those individual matchups they look for as the foul be whistled up on the inside on Anthony. Pushing for position in there. Opening minute of the fourth quarter. That's a second foul now on Anthony. 15 foul against Prep here in the fourth quarter. 7.31 to go. Prep owns a one-point lead 
in the state championship game. Hamler on the inbound. Duck blocked it from behind. Ryan tipped it, and then Evans saves it as he throws it off Keith Nace. Duck's not supposed to be down in there doing that kind of stuff. He's a point guard, for heaven's sake. But he rises up and says, get that out of here. Great block by Duck. It would have been an easy layup on the inside by Chester and denied by Little Duck. Came up from behind. Shaw with it. Hunter for three around the rim and off. No good. Who's got the loose rebound? It's on the floor. It's fourth down and one underneath the basket. Arrow points at Chester. Nothing squeamish about being on the inside there. You better not go in there if you're faint of heart because I'll tell you what, the ball was loose and there were four sets of hands on once again. You'll see it here. Long shot missed on the outside. High rebound and watch this action. Ball's on the floor and it attracts a lot of company as you can see. Kind of a rugby scrum in the painted area. Shaw really nowhere to go and has to call timeout. Well, both teams are even. Defensive pressure has cost each a very valuable timeout, which may come in very, very handy later. Seven minutes and 11 seconds remain in the game. Each team now with three timeouts remaining. 51-50 the score as you look at Marcel Araby, the head coach in his seventh year with Erie Cathedral Prep. They were 24 and 6 this season. Let's check in with Bill Richardson. Bill? One of the things we've been watching develop in this next period or so, the last three or four minutes, is the idea that right now it's still too early to deal with playing the clock. You still got to deal with the game. Neither side is willing to give an inch, and it's going to come down to the next run is going to be what makes the difference here. And they've got to learn right now, if you're going to try to find to break something open, you've got to watch for the big opportunity and seize it. And right now, both teams are waiting for it to happen, but it's so much back and forth, it just hasn't happened yet. Watch for the run. First run's going to win. 7-11. A lucky number up there. Who's going to have it at the end? Long way to go in this one yet. This has been an eternity, and again, both teams want this one badly. You can see the energy that's being output on the floor here tonight. Jamar Shaw. He works down to the low post area to Hamler. Blocked out of there by Coleman and lost out of bounds by Duck. Chester ball. Well, the last time it was Duck blocking it out. This time it was the big guy Coleman rising up like the Great Wall of China and just erasing any possibility of Chester getting this game back on their side as far as the lead. Chester still has the basketball, however. Ball off Hunter. They're going to give it back to Chester there. Say it was tipped by Ryan. Erie Prep not getting the ball back, but they're certainly not allowing Chester any easy moves on the inside. Inbound for Eric Evans. Evans, a very dangerous player. Get it done inside or outside. Alfonso Pender is on for the Clippers as well. Jamar Shaw dribble drive to Hunter. Nothing really open. He has to adjust his shot, and then Coleman snatches out the loose change, and here comes Prep. Coleman leading a, by one. Coleman with a nice piece of defense that whole series. He finally comes away with what he deserved, the steal. Prep's largest lead has been two. Ryan drives the lane. Almost got a chance at a three-point play. He'll shoot a pair. Foul on Hunter, I believe. Hunter does pick up the foul, and for Hunter, that's going to be foul number two now. You'll see the move here again. It's nice move on the inside by the junior as he goes up strong. Hunter comes across the weak side, and he fouled trying to get the basketball. Instead, he got the wrist. And Hunter's going to sit down for just a few minutes. Back into the game for him. The young man who's been doing so much nice damage on that baseline jumper tonight, Raymond Carroll. Carroll leading Chester with 19 points. Ryan steps to the line. He's got 10. Quiet. He came in averaging 17.8. Over 1,200 career points coming in and a 78% foul shooter. He's got 11 now. Well, that'll match Prep's largest lead of the night as you look at Marcel Araby, Araby rather, in his seventh year. They are the District 10 champ, and they are the real thing. Biggest lead in the game now for Cathedral Prep as they have a three-point lead, 6.28 to go. Big, big uh, possession this time for Chester as they come down and look to the inside. Eric Evans with it. Evans, dribble drive, throws it up. Does he get the roll? No, he'll draw the foul. They're looking at Nice. That's his fourth. Nice picks up the fourth. No shot on the play as Nice came over before the shot was even attempted. Sixth foul now against Deary. And here comes the penetration again. Evans coming hard in the basket. And you can see Nice got him before he got a chance to get it away. Well, Randy Maltzby has had a lot of rest is on for Chester now. Just keep sending them in, sending them in, sending them in. 
again, coach very, very comfortable, Coach Alonzo Lewis, that is, with that kind of rotation. Most coaches usually stick with about seven players. He's not anywhere like that. Twelve players, kind of the norm. Raymond Carroll picked off and a foul on Kenny Duck. That's his fourth now. Raymond Carroll in his favorite place in the baseline at the 13-footer as Duck picks up the foul. Big foul for Duck because it's the fourth. You still have 6-12 to go in the basketball game, and Araby, again, needs to make a decision here. Do you keep Duck in there, or do you maybe give him a two- or three-minute rest and bring him back? I think he'll keep him in there. He knows the game is being decided right now. It's a three-point game. Raymond Carroll, an 82% foul shooter. Came in averaging 19 points a game. He's at his average now, looking for his 20th point. Missed the front end of the one and one, and Duck flies through the lane with a rebound. Chester's gone cold here the last few minutes. Prep trying to make a little bit of a run and eke this one out. Duck penetrates, throws a wild shot off, and the rebound controlled by Hamler. Hamler skied to spear that one, two hands, and he was ready to go. Evans explodes and drops it home. He found a seam, Gary, and just blew right through the door. Found a seam, then lofted it up nicely, just kind of eked it in over the edge. Ryan to the left-hand dribble. Tough man-to-man -to -man defense here by Chester. One-on-one -on -one everywhere. Not a whole lot of help side. They're all up in the lanes. I'd hate to have him to protect a guy with four fouls. Ryan through the lane. Foul by Maltzby, his third. What opened that up was a good weak side screen by Anthony, and Ryan came off the screen tight, wiped his man off of the screen. You'll see right here. And then went to the basket. He'll get fouled on the play. Foul marked up on Maltby, his third foul. Again, we're in the bonus for both teams here in the final 531. And at the line, seemingly there all night, the big guy, Jed Ryan. Both teams are in bonus for the remaining 5 minutes and 31 seconds. And doing what Ryan just did will be vital, converting the front end of those. 14 points in the game now for Ryan. He'll get a chance to make it 15 here as a two-point lead by Erie Cathedral Prep. Ryan good again. He has 14 now. Nice lift by the junior. Turn around, Alfonso Pender pounds it off the glass. He has four. Oh, that was a big conversion there. Ball stolen temporarily. Ryan keeps it alive. Kenny Duck playing with four fouls. Anthony, Ryan, Nice for three. Good! Nice kind of just hangs around. He spotted up in the left-hand corner. Beautiful pass to the corner. He was wide open for the three, and he buried it. Carroll the other way. Right away, the answer by Chester. 4.45 left. Anthony. Gets it ahead to Ryan. Zone press here. Cathedral Prep does a nice job of passing it. Stolen away, though, by Carroll. Carroll gets some help. Out of there is Eric Evans. Chester with a chance to tie. Evans all the way. Left it short. Rebound. Prep. Big one for Jed Ryan. Duck. Long outlet. Coleman. And he stepped in. Did he charge? Blocking against Carroll. His third. Great pass down court to the big guy, Coleman. Carroll trying to get in position to take a charge. Never really had a chance to get set. And you can see it here as he kind of just ducked out of the way at the last moment. He'll pick up the foul instead. You really caught in a catch-22 of your Raymond Carroll there. Just in the wrong place at the wrong time, actually. Foul trouble. That's a long list. Three fouls now on Carroll. Booker Coleman does it one more time. He's got 21. 21 points. Araby. Let's see Craig Fomick into the game. Yeah, Araby getting ready to make another substitution here, obviously. Stop the clock and set your defense. And Fomich. Better get Nice out of there, give him just a little bit of a rest before the final run. What that does, by the way, it's a nice defensive substitution that makes Chester have to bring the ball in bounds, gives Erie Cathedral Prep a chance to run back down and set their defense. Biggest run has been a four-pointer by Erie in this half. It's a four-point game right now as Carroll works the dribble with Evans. Evans on the floor. He's down the boulevard and draws the foul. He'll shoot a pair. They flashed the weak side man to the high post right up at the left elbow, and then it opened up the lane, and here he comes again. Evans going hard to the basket. He'll get fouled in the play. He's almost unstoppable one-on-one. -on -one. He overshot the backboard that time, but again, he'll go to the line for two shots. 
Just about everybody out there has three or four fouls, Kerry. Yeah, we wouldn't have time in this broadcast to give you the list right now. Suffice to say, there have been a lot of fouls committed in this basketball game as Evans buries the first to get one more. And here comes Nice after the short west. Rest, back into the game. Sounded like Elmer Fudd that time. Fomich will go off. Nice playing with four fouls. He just hit a big three. But Evans trying to get Chester back to within two if he can convert here. Boy, that is just ice water right there. Four points in the game now for Evans. Chester coming back with another press. One, two, one, one. Duck, ducks underneath. They break the pressure. Nice for Ryan. Ryan up.